Our God is an awesome God. Amen? Amen. Well, at 6.30, amen was much stronger than yours. <laughs> Why is God awesome? Well, because God, who is almighty, all-powerful, who gave us the law, yet he doesn't force his law on us. He gave us the freedom to choose. As we heard in that first reading for Sirach, he says, this is your choice. You can choose good or evil. You can choose life or death. He does not force his law on us like governments, presidents, kings of this world, where we don't have a choice. And why does God do this? Because God did not create us to be his slaves. He created us as his children. And as the children, out of his love for us, he gives us the freedom to make those choices. And that's why he gave us the law. He didn't give us the law to kind of burden us with all this list of do's and don'ts. He gave us the law so can, we can make the right choices, so we can know good from evil and choose good. Or else, really, we have no choice. It's like, you know, being in the dark. Choose good or evil. Well, what's good or evil? That's why God gave us the law. Not to take away our freedom, but to have the freedom to make the right choices. But Jesus tells us that it's not just enough to make the right choices. You have to have loving hearts. You have to do them out of love. You know that Jesus is talking to the Pharisees in the gospel, and he says to us, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the Pharisees, then you're not going to enter the kingdom of heaven. And they're the ones who followed the law to the little, you know, iota thing. They took the Ten Commandments and made 600 other commandments out of them and tried to follow all those commandments. But you know what? They didn't have love. They were not righteous in the sense they were not in the right relationship with God. They didn't recognize that the purpose of these commandments is to love, to help people, not to kind of condemn them and judge them as they usually did. To free them, not to shackle them, to help them one day be with God in heaven. And that's why Jesus tells us, it's not just like you don't commit adultery, you don't kill, you don't lie. But even if you're angry with someone, you're getting in trouble. You're not following the law. Jesus doesn't mean that every time we feel angry about someone, we're going to go to hell. But we have to ask ourselves, why am I angry? Why am I getting angry? Why am I lusting after some other person or someone's property or possessions? And basically, I think the reason for it is because we have an outlook of life or we live our lives out of scarcity. We always think, I don't have enough, I need more. And if I can't get what I want more, then I'll be angry. If someone else I think has more than I do, then I'm going to be angry at them and kind of covet what they have. I don't have enough love. I don't have enough whatever it is. You can fill in the blanks because we have a view of scarcity in life that leads us to anger, to lust, to covet, to murder, to do worse things. And that's what Jesus is trying to tell us. You should live your lives out of abundance. Why? Because if you have the right relationship with God, then you will trust that God is the one who will provide you with all your need. Remember two Sundays ago, the Beatitudes. You shall, you know, blessed are those who mourn, who thirst, who hunger. Blessed are the poor. All of those people lack something, but Jesus says you are blessed. Why? Because you can turn to God now and he'll provide you what you want. He'll provide it to you in eternal life for all eternity. 
But when we feel that we need something, we're short of something, then it's hard for us to be people who love, to be generous, to be kind, to be giving of ourselves, because I, I know I need this. We're focused on what we need rather on the blessings God has given us and how we can share them with others. Today, we have that opportunity to share our blessings with others. Last Sunday, we announced that this Sunday is Together in Mission Commitment Sunday. And Together in Mission, for those of you who are not familiar with, is an annual appeal every year that every parish in the Archdiocese has to do it. And basically, the funds that we raise will go to help the poor parishes and schools in our Archdiocese who need our support to keep their doors open. This is not to do anything extra, but to pay their bills, their salaries, their benefits to their employees, to be able to pay for the books that the students use in the schools, their power bill, water bill. And today, with this year, we're asked to get $16 million. That's how the needs are out there. And our portion at Holy Family is to raise $245,000. So before I take you through the pledge process, let us watch this video together that show us the impact of the money that we give to the to Together in Mission, how it changes people's lives. Together in Mission, celebrating 30 years. How do you do God's work? How do we imitate Christ? How can we be Christ for others? How do we shine his light? We had sound in the earlier message. We give ourselves. We give our talents. We give what we have. We give cheerfully. Like Gabby, who volunteers each Sunday evening to teach RCIA, because she the value of her faith and wants to spread it to others. Like Father Juan Bosco, who hosts local neighborhood youth soccer programs because he knows the importance of acceptance and unity in a community. We give without expecting anything in return. Like Miss Natalie, who Maybe leads future generations of Catholics because she knows that God has called us to use the talents that we have been given. and Margarita, who volunteers at her parish weekly to give out meals to the hungry and work with developmentally challenged adults because she knows that all lives have dignity. Like Deacon Jim, who distributes communion to the elderly in his neighborhood because he knows that communion is a lifeline. We give it all, like the thousands of donors like you who shine his light each day in your families, in your communities, in your schools, in your hearts, and in your parishes. Together in Mission helps support all these essential ministries. In the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, we depend on you. You make this church great. You keep things moving. You are children of God, and we make up one family of God. And like any family, when one member is in need, we give. We give our money, we give our time, and of course we give our prayers. We know that our giving makes a difference. The Archdiocese of Los Angeles is the largest and most diverse diocese in the world. And we are all united as one in Christ to shine His light. For 30 years, Together in Mission has helped underserved schools and parishes in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. Through your generous gifts, Together in Mission helps keep the doors open and the lights on in the most vulnerable parishes and schools in your faith communities. Without your gift, Together in Mission would not be able to help 65 parish communities and 75 Catholic schools through every region of the Archdiocese. For over a generation, we have helped 500,000 families and 15,000 students in need. 
Our brothers and sisters are struggling, but they deeply believe in Jesus Christ. Help us celebrate 30 years of giving. Let us continue to shine His light and do God's work throughout the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. Uh, no, that's okay. We'll, we'll just move on. Uh, I think, you know, the pictures tell the story. You don't need, you know, the audio. But uh, those of you who have been supporting Together Mission and Mission in the past, you already probably received your pledge forms by mail at home. And we thank you for your support. And you don't have to do any... If you already mailed your pledge form, then you don't have to do anything now. Just take this time maybe to pray for those... Uh, 70, the people of those 75 parishes and schools who received some help. But if you haven't yet, in the pews, at either end of the pew, in the, where the books are, you'll find these envelopes. Please take one and see if someone else sitting in the middle of the pew need one, pass them an envelope, and there should be pens. If you need envelopes or pens, raise your hand, and the ushers can give you some, an envelope or a pen. And basically, the first four lines are for you to put down your information, name, address, email address, cell number, and please write legibly so they can read that information and enter it correctly. This year, you have many ways of contributing to, together in mission. This is the traditional way, if you want to do it this way, just like fill out the flap. If not, you can scan the QR code on the back page of the envelope, back side. Take out your phones now. You can t use your phones in church just this Sunday. <laughs> Scan it. Or you can go to their website, which is at the bottom in the envelope, and I think it's uh, timgive.org slash life. Timgive dot org slash life. Or you can do it by text. And to text it, there's a number, it's 213-397-0682. 213-397-0682. And the word you text is SHINE, S-H-I-N-E, 30, 30. So you can give in all different ways, and also you can give using your credit card, and then you can enter the information at the bottom of the flap, and make sure you sign it where it says signature for credit card. You don't have to give any money today. It's a pledge over 10 months between now and the end of the year. If you are new to Together in Mission, we'd like you to consider to make at least a pledge of $30 a month for 10 months, $300. That's about one cup of Starbucks coffee a week that you can sacrifice to help the people on those parishes. Enter all the information, and then you can indicate whether you're going to... If you want to give some cash today, you can do so. If you want to write a check, you can do so. But you don't have to. If you write a check, make it to Holy Family, and on the bottom left corner, put, that, put the memo section together in Mission, or TIM. And also, you can mark the last square which says recurring. In other words, if you're using your credit card, they keep charging you that amount till you tell them stop. Then they can stop. On that rectangular box on this side, you put down the amount you're pledging. If you use other, please write down the amount that you want to pledge. And then... Just close your envelope. If you're putting money or cash, please seal it. And then during the collect regular collection, the ushers will collect the envelope with your church envelope. Again, thank you for considering to support Together in Mission. Like I said, our goal is $245,000 this year. Last year was $160,000. 
So we need a bunch of new people to help us to reach our goal. And again, like the video showed us, it's really touching not just one person or, you know, when we think school parishes, but that's people. Thousands of people and students, children, adults, teenagers will be touched by your generosity. Thank you very much and God bless.